Hello and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Today's beer is from a brewery that I have not, uh, I'm not acquainted with. I've heard of them, but I've never had them. They're kind of small, I think, uh, and they're actually a brew pub that, uh, uh, you know, produces their beer and uh, sells it uh, outside and cans it and that sort of thing. So the brewery is called Repub Brew, and which is a nice name for a brew pub. Um, and the uh, beer we're going to look at is called 69 IPA from them. And this is a, a, a brew pub in Numazu, Shizuoka, and they were established in 2017. Um, and on Rate Beer, they have 36 beers, uh, and uh, on Untapped, 301, which is, I think, way, way too high for a brewery that started in 2017. In any case, the average on, on Untapped is 3.77 out of 5, which is pretty high. Um, so, uh, the uh, Numazu is, uh, for me, uh, means Baird, uh, and that's where Baird Brewing started in Numazu, and they still do have their uh, pub in, uh, uh, in the fish market tap room in Numazu, which is a small city in uh, uh, Shizuoka, right on the, on the water. And uh, so this, again, I've heard of these guys, but I've never had anything from them, and it's called 69 IPA. It is a West Coast style IPA, and 7.1%. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do 6.9%, but in any case, uh, 69 international bitter units. This cost me 420 yen where I bought it, uh, and I'm guessing that's probably at this point around maybe $3.20 or so US. and. It has five ratings on rate beer only. Uh, the average is pretty high though, 4.04. .04. I'm not sure why. Uh, Untap 763 ratings, and the average there is 3.74 out of five. Uh, and the hops used, they say, are Mosaic, Simcoe, and CTZ. So uh, definitely right in the line for a nice IPA. Um, and let me read the description real quickly to you. Uh, it says, there is little to the limit and it flows smoothly even though it is bitter. As the name suggests, IBU is 69. We aimed for a strong hop impact, clear taste, very dry and drinkable. The complex citrus scent is reminiscent of tangerine and pink grapefruit. We shall see. Let's give this one a go. And it is Repub Brew 69 IPA. Repub Brew. The brewery focuses on the pairing of beer and food. Good thing for a brew pub to do. Okay. So again, a West Coast IPA. Uh, and it's very lightly hazy. This could be chill haze uh, with a it's kind of sort of dark pastel yellow and uh, about a half a finger of sort of frothy white foam. Mm. Yeah, right away I get a nice IPA sort of nose. Uh, I'm going to say there's pine, pine, maybe yeah, citrus for sure, but definitely some pine. Yeah, Mosaic and Simcoe are both wonderful hops. CTZ I'm not so familiar with. Not a brewer. It used to be a home brewer, but okay, okay. This is fairly decent. Um, nice medium-bodied, uh, multi backbone is there, but it's the hops that shine here, as it probably should in a West Coast style IPA. Uh, very tangly on the tongue. Um, nice sort of citrus yeah deep I and mean, the mosaic uh, and the simcoe are both very clear here this is this is wonderful um yeah i really like this uh and I, you know actually still i mean after all these years i think maybe a good ipa or a pale ale probably my favorite styles of beer um these days uh, hazy seem to have taken over but i kind of prefer the old school style stuff. Mm. Delicious. 
a nice moderate bitterness. It does finish dry, um, and the hops kind of fade out. There are some lingering tracks, but uh, kind of minimal. Very nicely done. Um, yeah, once again, this is called Repub Brew 69 IPA, 7.1%, 69 international bittering units from Repub Brew in Numazu, Shizuoka. Okay, well that's it. Um, tell me your experience with Repub Brew, if you've had any of the, what, 300 and, 300 and one, what was it here? Anyway, yeah, the number of rate on rate beer, or, or the number, on, yeah, 301, it's crazy. So let me know what your experience is with Repub Brew, if you've had them, and uh, uh, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, all right? Take care, bye-bye.